All right, this is again for pace 1110, the second geometry pace, and I'm on page 27 and 28. On page 27, it talks about theorem 2 there in blueprint, and it's important to understand what I was talking about. In a right triangle, the side opposite, across from the right angle, is called the hypotenuse, okay, hypotenuse. The other two sides are just called the legs of the triangle. So the longest side is the hypotenuse. The other two, it doesn't matter which is which, are the legs. Notice the theorem says if two legs of one right triangle are congruent to two legs of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. And that's the LL theorem. So instead of having three letters, we only have two letters. But there is a third piece of information that's kind of implied, very important, and that is that these have to be right triangles. Right triangles are the only type of triangle in which two sides are called the legs. So in order for this theorem to be applied, we have to prove that the two triangles actually are right triangles. And so that's why, um, looking here on page 28 in the middle, so they have this picture of a tent. And I would, again, recommend you sketch that on another piece of paper, label the parts. But look what happens here in step two. It says ADB and ADC are right angles. And how do we know that? Well, there's a clue up here with the perpendicular lines. Okay, if two line segments are perpendicular, they form right angles. I think that's a definition of uh, perpendicular but the perpendicular is given, so we can use that. Now, notice they state that, the right, that these angles are right angles, and notice the next statement, triangle ADB and triangle ADC are right triangles, definition of right triangles. Now, that seems way too obvious, right? <laughs> it seems like, why do I have to state that? I mean, you can see that, but Again, this is what we're doing in geometry, is trying to list every statement and prove everything and not make assumptions. And so the fact that we have a right angle, yes, we can rightly conclude this is a right triangle, and we have to have a right triangle before we can apply the leg-leg theorem and uh, prove that the triangles are therefore congruent, okay? So we have to um, first prove that they, because the reflexive will tell us that this other leg is congruent. So then we'll have these two legs down here congruent, this leg congruent, and we have right triangles. Now let's jump to, um, I, I think you can figure out number six. They don't, you have to do this on separate paper and they don't tell you how many steps involved, but you can kind of, I think you can figure out that one. It's very similar to the ones above, but let's talk about Actually, this last one down here, number eight, there's a few more steps in that one. CD, <clears throat> okay, uh, CD is perpendicular to AB. So what do we know about that? Well, we can determine that these two are right angles. We'll need that, okay? D bisects AB. If D bisects AB, then that tells me this is congruent to this. Now, I haven't stated that formally yet, but I can tell that from this information. Now, the last thing they want me to prove is that ACD is congruent to BCD. ACD is right here, okay? So I'm gonna put a question mark there. BCD, put a question mark there. We're trying to prove that those two are congruent. Obviously, we're going to try to use LL. Can I somehow get to the leg-leg theorem? <clears throat> well, here we go. This side right here is congruent to itself. You see that? Okay, so that would be uh, reflexive. And I know these are congruent. So as I start going through here, my, one of my first, well, the first statement will be what's given. But probably the next one is to state that these are right angles, okay, by definition of bisecting. And then I have to insert that statement that actually says this triangle and this triangle are right triangles. 
Okay? Seems obvious, but we have to state that. And again, the, this definition of right triangles. Once these are right triangles, then I can prove that this side is congruent to itself. Okay? And then the last step is, because it's right triangles, I can do leg-leg to prove that they're congruent. But I'm not done. Because the last statement is going to be these two angles here are congruent. Well, once I have the congruent triangles, now the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are congruent. So yes, these correspond to each other. Now that the triangles are congruent, I can with confidence say that these two angles are indeed congruent. C, P, C, T, C. Okay, see if you can fill in the rest of that. I would encourage you to use a little six inch ruler or at least a three by five card to make nice straight lines and uh, leave yourself room, don't cram things in there. And then uh, after you've done your best, go up to the score key and if you've got a couple steps in the wrong order, the score key will let you know, hey, those steps can be in any order for those two. Um, if you're totally missing a step, then you need to go back and uh, stick that in there so you understand for future problems um, what, what is needed.